Let's, uh, let's first of all, you know, you've got those positive, uh, of course, uh, positive, I say, we've got Indians going crazy in Australia for the Prime Minister. The thing is, is India really turned the corner and is this growth momentum that we're seeing and a transformation of the economy one which has legs? Thank you. Morning, everyone. I think, look, India is looking like it's really defined the global headwinds. Uh, you're seeing the GDP growth rate uh, coming along nicely at about 6, 6.5 percent. Retail inflation is down to sub 5.5 percent, which is great for the Indian consumer. The rural economy is looking good. Uh, middle class Indian is aspirationally doing well. Job data is good. Uh, GST collections are at all time high at 1.85 lakh crore last month. So all in all, foreign exchange reserves are good, which is good for the currency. So all in all, it looks like India is doing well. All of the sectors, manufacturing services and rural India seems to be uh, showing uh, signs of good and robust growth. Uh, so we all believe that this, the, the reforms of the last 10 years and just the whole uh, will help us defy what's happening globally. Uh, your CEO, Ken Willis, was talking about, you know, once the Fed stops hiking, that he, he sees a whole sort of m &A rebound. H how do you think, you know, this tightening cycle, sticky inflation and, you know, concerns of uh, slowing a global economy is really going to impact the India landscape when it comes to m &A? So, Ivan, uh, you know, unlike well, what Ken commented globally, we really didn't see that much of a slowdown. Of course, we saw a slowdown because a lot of our m is dependent on foreign capital, but it didn't fall off the cliff. Uh, our bulk of our foreign capital comes from private equity. Last year, of the $175 billion m and 75 billion was PE. This year, already we've seen about $28, $30 billion come in. And it uh, continues to come in the sectors that it has, which is IT services, consumer, pharma. Pharma is one of the biggest recipients and will be for the rest of the year, healthcare services. Where we saw a fall off the cliff is in VC capital, in going into tech, much like what was happening in the rest of the world. Uh, and recently, we've seen down rounds happen. We've seen the, uh, uh, the companies readjust their valuations. Everyone's run out of the venture capital debt that they were raising. So I believe that capital will now come in. It is there for India, but I think it was waiting for the valuations to readjust. So I think that's where we'll see more M&A. Uh, but as far as foreign capital is concerned in the other sectors, we didn't see that much of a slowdown. Domestic M&A, on the other hand, which had gone very quiet in the last five ten to 10 years as Indian banks and corporates were deleveraging, has also seen a comeback. You saw the largest deal in Adani last year, but there's a lot more uh, that's happening. And domestic capital is now doing uh, proud field deals. Uh, you know, when Menika and I started our career, everyone wants to just green field if you were domestic in India because it was so much cheaper. But today, I think people realize that right. they start, you know, they value to time and are looking to do a brown field. Uh, Manisha, you know, I just want to follow up on exactly that point. Large players in India that dominated the domestic M&A scene, for instance, Adani, or even Vedanta, which is currently facing debt issues, are on the sidelines, you know, at least for the next 6 to 12 months. So um, do you expect any sort of big deal activity in the domestic scene? And if yes, from where? So, Menika, you know, as you said, while maybe Adani and Vedanta may be quieter, you saw Tata's buy a large and complex business like Air India. You saw Birla's recently buy a, a apparel business in their uh, retail business. So, I think you have other business houses which are doing party continues to be active. So, there are large business houses. And what's what's heartening to see is, Menika, it's, it's not just the traditional sectors, but pharma, which the companies like Sun, which we went, uh, advised on a billion dollar acquisition in the US earlier in the year. So you're seeing companies in pharma, mid-sized, five to ten billion dollar companies also looking to do M&A. So it's more broad based, in fact, and we don't have to rely just on the top two or three to see the large M&A. And also, don't forget, Menika, today private equity and sovereign wealth funds are tying up a lot with Indian business houses to go out and bid for assets. So that's that's a new development where private equity is willing to come in minority to the Indian strategics.